The Cobra may be fun, but to some it doesn't come close to the thrill of flying the best dogfighter of its day, the Soviet MiG-15. It was the number one fighter of the 50s and is an icon of fighter jet history. Larry Salganek, entrepreneur and flight school owner, obtained his MiG in slightly odd circumstances. I had a friend that was a, an arms dealer who was on his way to Poland and he said to me, can I bring you back a MiG? And I said, sure. And so he sent me photographs of the MiG and I put it up like I would a pinup. And I said, yes, yeah. so he sent me several of them. I said, I'll take that one. That one looks nice. Larry waited and some months later, the plane he had chosen from the photo was delivered. But strangely, he's never heard from his friend who got in the plane ever again. His brother often asked me, do you know what happened to him? And I say, no, I have no idea. And, uh, but I guess that's part of being an arms dealer, isn't it? More MiG-15s were built at the time than any other jet fighter. It had a revolutionary swept wing design. It was armed with two 23 millimeter cannons, a 37 millimeter cannon plus rockets or 2,000 pounds of bombs. When it first fought in the Korean War, it whipped the tails of the young American airmen who couldn't match its superior performance. Now, instead of dogfighting over Korea, it flies over the New Mexico desert. It's as fast as you can go, as inexpensively as you can do it, and it's a piece of history. And it's a lesson in early aerodynamics. But not everything about the MiG was state of the art. I think the term for the interior of this aircraft is prehistoric. It's, <laughs> it's by any modern standards an archaic aircraft. It, it was built uh, more in line with World War II than a modern jet fighter. The ejection seat is equally primitive. This was the first aircraft the Soviets built with an ejection seat. There's no guarantee when you pull a handle that you're going to be alive two or three minutes later. Despite its age, the MiG still has impressive performance. It can climb to 51,000 feet and has a top speed of 670 miles per hour. In fact, it doesn't like slow speeds at all. The airplane is a very poor slow speed airplane. Airplane will drop a wing in a stall. It may enter a spin from a stall uh, at any time. During the airplane, the book warns you that if you're anywhere around 400 knots and going straight down. Larry has turned his passion for flying into a successful flying school for jet warbirds. He started the school in 1989 with business partner Dale Faust. They now have six ex-military jets. Come close. Flying the MiG is not just a job, it's a hobby but it's a hobby that can easily end in disaster. The most important thing we do every day is to come home. We have to operate this airplane as if it's a dangerous weapon. Sadly, not everyone appreciates how deadly they are. I probably know 25 or 30 people that have died in, uh, in these jet warbirds. Yeah, keep it nice and square, because you're going to be a little fast and high here. The accident rate is probably around uh, four to five serious accidents a year. We probably have two fatal ones out of 500 airplanes flying. Per minute, the fatality rate on one of these airplanes has to be uh, astronomical. 